conditional access. So let me show you conditional access. Conditional access is what you can use to uh, what you can do with conditional access is you can use that to limit where people can access the devices from. So again you need Microsoft 365 Business Premium for this to work. So we're going to create a first of all we have to create a landing location. Uh, oh, there's some already. We're going to create a country's location and we're going to call it UK only. I actually often just include a lot of European countries and then we're going to rename the country to AAAA United Kingdom. United Kingdom. So what this is going to do is stop people from logging in outside the UK. Okay, so we've got the country now. It's fine. And then I don't think you can do it there yet. No. Uh, and then we're going to go policies. And then new policy. Uh, actually, what's really cool here now, they've got these templates that are really good, so you can use the basic built in templates. Now, what, word of warning you, you, you always want to have an account that's excluded. Oh. Word of warning you, you always want to have an, an account that's excluded from your conditional access policies while you're testing them because otherwise you're going to break stuff. So, what we're going to do. We're going to go um, new policy. Uh, so we're going to assign this to all users. Uh, then we're going to assign it to all cloud apps. Yes, that's fine. Uh, and then you should be able to. Um, exclude selected locations UK only save so this policy won't apply if you're in the UK access control and then we want to block block access and then select. So you can exclude the user from the policy, uh, which is I generally recommend you do while you're testing it. Now, that's set to report only. So that's not going to do anything. But we just can look at the policy that's created. You can see it's report only. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're just going to look at it again and just make sure what we've done makes sense. So it's going to block access apart from if you're in the UK. That feels right. Am I doing that right? Yep, okay. And then we can turn it on. Press on and press save. And then when we log on as a user from outside the UK, they'll get a message. Let me just show you. That will take me a moment. Move start, not ES, no, that's not what we want. Okay. So, what's going to happen when I try and sign into office.com? Now it does take about 15 minutes for these policies to apply. Let's see if it works. There you go. That's the message you get. 
So does that make sense? So we can do lots of things with conditional access to block access for different systems. It's worthwhile doing. There are loads of things that we want to do on 365 to make it more secure. People's assumption is that Microsoft are doing all this stuff for us, and that's absolutely not the case. So just want to show you, like, it's not that hard to set these things up, and you can follow the one for the conditional access, because do you really want people in Russia logging in? Obviously, they can bypass this. They can use a VPN to get around it, but it stops a certain number of attacks. So that's all for me today. I hope that makes sense, and uh, I will speak to you soon. Cheers, bye.